everybody. Welcome to our next edition to our online story time at the Dover Library. Sorry it's been a while, but I'm back, so we're going to get started. Here we go. Help me out. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 All right, help me count. Here we go. Not too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's find out what day it is. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yesterday was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And tomorrow is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. All right, let's get our weather song going. Here we go, ready? Sing with me. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it stormy? Is it rainy? Is there a rainbow out today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it snowy? out today. Look at the window and tell me what you see. I see wind and clouds right now and I think it might rain later but I'm not sure. So we're gonna do windy, windy, and cloudy. Right. So today is Wednesday, October 7th, 2020. All right, we're going to do some stories. I'm going to come a little closer so you can see the pictures. The first one is called Dogs on the Bed by Elizabeth Blumel, illustrated by Anne Wilsdorf. There are dogs on the bed, like logs on the bed. Bed hogs on the bed. These dogs, these dogs. Sideways on the bed, dog maze on the bed. Paws grazing our heads. These dogs, these dogs. Here's another taily, taily wagger made of fur, snoozing in the center of the comforter. Tiny little doggy, barely weighs 10 pounds, suddenly as heavy as a basset hound. These dogs on the bed bring clogs on the bed, shoe slippers instead of bones, these dogs. Piled up in a heap, they're stacked five deep. We can't get to sleep for dogs, these dogs. Join us in doggy dancing rodeo. Watch them hop up to and frodeo. Buying for a spa on daddy's pillio. Daddy's gonna give them all the old heave ho. Now banished they lie, they pout and they sigh and give us the eye, these dogs, these dogs. They go on the prowl, they bark and they growl. Night sounds make them howl. These dogs, these dogs. Now they're scratching at the door. Mom lets them win. Out they go, doggies grin. 30 seconds later, they want right back in. Mom's become the doorman of the in, out, in. Now back on the bed, they shed on the spread. Their snores wake the dead, these doggone dogs. 
They stick out their paws and drool out their jaws. There ought to be laws for dogs, these dogs. When we get too sleepy, here's their sneaky plan. Push us up off if they can. Nudge a little, shove a little, man oh man. Suddenly we're cuddling the ottoman. We're folks on the floor we're with leg room galore, but chilled to the core are folks we folks. The dogs gather round our camp on the ground. Dog blankets abound our dogs, these dogs. So dogs on the bed aren't always so bad. I guess we've been had by dogs, these dogs. As portable heat, they just can't be beat. It's worth losing sheet to dogs these dogs. It's worth sharing sleep with dogs. I would agree. Do you have dogs that sleep with you at night? All right, the next one is called The Very Cranky Bear by Nick Blant. In the jingle jangle jungle on a cold and rainy day, Four little friends found a perfect place to play. Moose had marvelous antlers and lion a golden mane. Zebra had fantastic stripes and sheep, well, sheep was plain. None of them had noticed that someone else was there. Sleeping in that cave was a very cranky bear. Roar, went the cranky bear, roar, roar, roar. He gnashed his teeth and stomped his feet and chased them out the door. So in the jingle jangle jungle on a cold and rainy day, four little friends had nowhere they could play. Wait a minute, said Zebra as she scratched her furry chin. Maybe if we cheered him up, he'd let us come back in. If I did not have stripes, said Zebra, I'd be cranky too. We should give that bear some stripes. That's what we should do. Stripes are silly, Moose complained, especially on a bear. My antlers always cheer me up. Let's give that bear a pair. No, 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 said Lion. Antlers are a bore. A golden mane like mine, he said, would cheer him up for sure. So Zebra fetched a can of mud and lion some grass of gold. Moose got two big branches and sheep, well, sheep got cold. Sheep was getting worried. They've been eaten up for sure. And then from inside the cave, three came, there came a very cranky roar. Zebra, lion, moose ran out and bear was right behind them. They hid behind the bushes where they hoped he'd never find them. Why is he still cranky? He's got antler stripes and a mane. Before we gave him those, Lion said, he looked so very plain. As Bear stormed back inside the cave, he turned and roared at sheep. All I really want, he said, is a quiet place to sleep. So she fetched a pair of clippers and she sheared off half her wool. She stuffed in a cotton bag until the bag was full. She tiptoed back inside the cave. Excuse me, bear, she said. Would you like a pillow for underneath your head? Well, thank you very much, said bear, and soon he fell asleep. Maybe he was dreaming of a plain but thoughtful sheep. Oh, he looks comfy. The end. Okay, I hope you enjoyed those stories. And we will see you next time at the Dover Library. Bye.